Hi guys. So what I'm going to do in this video is actually show you how to write a really simple, well-formulated WordPress post for good SEO um, and, uh, and, and also having all the elements you need uh, and getting into, a, getting into a routine where you do this for every single blog post. Okay, so here, here I'm talking about a new tool that we've added um, for our clients on our server, which is called Short Pixel. And what it does is you, you pay for a, a, a developer license and you pay a certain amount of money and then there's a monthly fee. And what it does is it basically, um, the software um, works in the background and automatically uh, compresses all, all the images you upload. So basically lossless compression. So you can't tell the difference between the, the original image and the image that's served on the website. It just makes for a speedier website. It's, it's good for SEO. I mean, you don't know how, I can't tell you how many websites that I come across that I'm going to, uh, I'm redoing and stuff like that, where they have images embedded in there that are like 6, 12, 15, 20 megabyte sizes. And the page just loads, you know, that page load where you see the image bit by bit as it, as it, as it slowly loads down. So anyway, so what I am is I'm talking about the software and informing my clients of the software and this then goes out in a newsletter to my clients or will be going out in a newsletter to my clients. So let's just start with the basics with WordPress and, and, the, and the plugin that we use is called WordPress SEO by Yoast. It's pretty much the number one plugin uh, for SEO on the internet. You can buy the premium version um, and if you're, if you're a big company you might look at that. Uh, but the, the the standard version, the free version that comes with it, uh, that that uh, that's released in the standard plugin is pretty fantastic. Okay, um, it does a lot of things, including uh, you can buy an extension or extensions for it. One of the extensions is Glue, which basically gives you uh, AMP accelerated WordPress uh, accelerated mobile pages um, as well. And I, I'll do that in a separate video on how to set that up. But anyway, so what, what we have is you've got to think of if, if you write a, 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 the title of uh, a blog post and it's, um, um, it's a very generic title, then you, you're losing it. What you've got to think is, is what, what is your uh, target audience, okay? And if your target audience is, um, is for instance, uh, uh, you're, you're in the legal industry and uh, you're looking for people who are looking to um, fix their 401k or their superannuation um, and and work with you with that. Well, then you write a lot about that, but you also write you would also write about things uh, and people that you that have visited you and, and mention the towns and the cities because all of that is included in it. Okay, so what you the basics of it is is you have a title. And then you have the content. Now, the content uh, by by your standards, it says you should have a minimum of three hundred words. Okay. Now it's very difficult to get all of these green, and the same with the readability, all of those green. So it does take some time to do that. But if you get into a habit of getting that right and spending that extra five to ten minutes on each post, then you will see the benefits. Um, SEO is not, it's not a magic potion, it, you know, you'll get all of these companies wanting, the people who spend money on SEO, on SEO uh, providers, for, for my money after working in WordPress for 12 years and web site development 20 years, it's just a waste of money if you do things right for yourself. It takes longer to have the success, but you're not forking out money for that success. You're, the, all you're putting in is the time and effort. Okay, so what you have is you, you'll have your title, you'll have the content, okay, you'll have the featured image, and that featured image should should also have information about the title. So when you when you have an image downloaded on your computer, and you're going to upload it, copy the title, and change the name of the image to the title. Short pixel lossless image compression or short pixel. So let's have a look at what the image I have. I hope I've done it. Yep. So I've I've actually re I've renamed the JPEG to that. Okay. 
Now, I could actually add some information, but I just for this, I've just put the same in each one. But um, I could put, say, for instance, uh, on this in the, in the caption, and the alt text is the important one. Really, the lossless should go before that. But fill them all in. You know, what, why you wouldn't do that? Just having the, the image name there is just a complete waste of gold SEO opportunities. Okay. So the title and the alt description is the most important thing there. Now, this w website has, um, has also I can format it, but most of it you'll only get some basics here. Um, and I've got a few extra things in there. So... The second thing is looking at making sure you, you never have it under uncategorized. You should not have one blog post with uncategorized. It's just lazy. And I don't know Google's algorithm and nobody else does. Anyone who says they do is lying uh, unless they previously worked at Google in that department. And even then, it's always updated, so they'll never would truly know. And don't plonk it in 15 categories. You're talking about, you're, you're thinking about your user here. It should only be one or two categories. The other thing is tags, okay? So let's have a look at the tags. All of these tags should be words that are contained in the article. Not one of those tags should be a word outside of that. So if you think you're being clever by putting in all these extra words, I guarantee you it won't work for you, okay? Make sure any of the tag words you used are actually text or links that you've put inside a, a blog post. Uh, this this op theme also has the option of hiding the footer and, and sidebar. But then I have a, I put the excerpt in. I've got a back button for mobile devices, and if anyone clicks a back button in a browser, it, it tells it where to go back to on the site. Okay, and there's a few extra features that you won't see. But these are these are some of the extra features that I have in this on this site. Okay, so the the keyword is short pixel. Okay, and we look at the readability, and what it, what it does is if you actually come up with any of the um, uh, any orange or reds, you want to the reds you want to definitely take care of, and the oranges you it's like a suggestion to take care of. Okay, so basically you've got three hundred plus words. I think there's three seventy one in this article. Three seventy one, yeah. The readability is all working out okay. Um, it's not something you can really do much about if you've got a really big, long article. So it's got the minimum set of words, 71 words over the minimum set. Got the title, a nice title. Got the image and the uh, and the uh, title and uh, the alt tags all worked out. It's under a category, not under uncategorized. It's got the tags all worked out. So everything's set up for it to be, you know, a decent blog post. I'm not going to say I'm going to get 50,000 visitors to it, but it's informative. The article uh, uh, is informative and will, and will work well for what I'm trying to convey. The other thing I do is inside each article, if I ever talk about a client's website, I link to my folio. So I have an inbound link. And then I, I don't link that if, 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 the, uh, if the keyword is short pixel, I'm not going to put that as the link. Okay, because I'll get a bit of a negative for that. So I link something else to link to short pixel. Okay. And I've got two outbound links on this, on this, uh, in this blog post. Okay, so I've, this is it's fairly simple, um, but that's basically all you need. And you've got to make sure you take care of this, the content, the featured image, always featured image. Even if you're putting an image inside, always have a featured image because that's what Facebook and all of them will look for if you're going to share it amongst those. One or two categories, three categories most. If you you've got to keep going then you, you've obviously got a mess on your hands. And tags have to be relevant. Okay? So there you go. How to write a really simple, um, informative blog post that ticks all the boxes with Yoast SEO. Thank you. We'll talk again soon.